going on? My name is Elfrens. Welcome back to another reaction. Now, today I got another SCP video, but it's from Percy and the Beast Productions. Now, the last uh, video I reacted to Percy and the Beast Productions was, of course, the Toby and the Multiverse of Chaos video, which came out about a week or so, two weeks ago by the time this video comes out. And just so happened, a couple days later, he released this video, which is a continuation of the SCP series I've been watching from Percy and the Beast Productions. And the last one I watched was with uh, Edward. And according to the thumbnail, we're going back to Diesel two D two six one. I and I remember in the last time I reacted to this video, a lot I kept calling him Andy, Andy the Diesel. And I was I'm still confused. I never I never actually looked up whether or not his name he had an official name, but I, but according to the community, and everybody else, he just goes by the by uh, do D. Two six one, but in my case, I'm just gonna keep calling him Andy the Diesel. <laughs> now, I pr there's probably another Diesel in the community that's named that, but I'm just gonna keep calling him Andy because that's what I was calling him in the first episode. So, with that being said, Taz is probably gonna jump over here because she's looking at me. You're looking at me, <laughs> and we're gonna go ahead and click play on this bad boy in three, two, one, go. Let's go. I got my water as usual. Don't worry, I still use the mug. Which is... I completely forgot how this intro went. Ugh, it's been a while since I've watched this. But yeah, I, st I still use my red mug, if you guys are wondering where it is. Just not... in this- in these videos. Well, in all my videos, but every now and then I swap out between a, for a regular cup. Episode or in the SCP. Let's go! Episode 3. Let's do this. What do we got this time? SCP SIOW90. Oh, is that what the that's the number he, he's called now? Hello, I'm Agent 42 ATH. And this is the file of SCP SI 0 W90, aka the Golden Watch. This watch, once placed the on the wearer's arm, will teleport them to a different universe. Oh, it's not D261. And without a proper understanding of this watch, the wearer will keep jumping universes every 60 seconds. Was that the sort of Mist universe, or is that something else entirely? And has the urge to kill himself. Oh, yep. Fall out. That was the Fallout universe. The SCP Foundation managed to get the watch back simply because it is designed to go back to its origin universe once the watch is removed from the wearer, or the wearer dies. Show Foundation. Study this watch very carefully while keeping it in a locked room. The watch, once programmed correctly, can take the agent to any universe they want to go. However, we haven't found out exactly how to program it yet. We have men looking into it as we speak. SCP has- Hey, Percy and the Beast Productions, if you want me to voice act, let me know. I'm more down and willing to go. You just let me know. Size 0W90 has become very useful in protecting our universe. Also, it has made multiversal travel much easier, but as always, there is a downside in taking the easy way. What's the downside? The watch, aka SCP SI 90 if worn too much, will cause the wearer to age at a much faster rate, which could lead to the wearer's death. So far, 14 test agents have died due to trial and error Jesus. wearing said watch. And he did. Test 15 showed much needed progress when the agent arrived back within normal health parameters. When questioned about which universe they went to, they described it as a universe where the steam engine anomalies were endangered and replaced one by one with diesel engine anomalies. 
the engine was placed under observation for the next 48 hours. Upon reaching the end of this observation period, the agent was released for the next upcoming test, linking scp si 90 between two individuals. The individuals in question being Test Agent 15 and scp si 0 d 984 to see whether the watch can enable travel for both subjects travel for each day. Ah. Fortunately, it worked. Both of them made it to another universe and back. Which universe was this? But upon arrival, they were badly burnt. The agent died when he got to the recovery wing, and Agent D-984 was in need of heavy repair, but he also survived. While Agent D-984 was under repair, he managed to tell us information regarding the universe he and the agent crossed into. Which universe which was this? dubbed Universe DS-121884. In DS-121884, it appeared that the British Railways Chairman of that universe, a Dr. Richard Beating, has found a way to have only diesels of his design occupy every inch of solar in that universe. Because of his actions and the subsequent actions from that universe's engine number Multiverse seven, of Chaos? an incursion has been created. Due to the laws of the multiverse being knocked off the so called. Oh, is this all connect? This is connecting all the different fandoms together to make one series. I get it now. Natural order of all things. An incursion is when a universe contracts. The contraction causes universes throughout the multiverse to collide, with each universe's respective shoulder as the point of impact. An incursion is the period in which two or more shoulders collide, lasting like Sodor mist. Exactly eight hours. It is currently unknown what the next course of actions may be. God, I missed that series. But one thing is for certain: the multiverse is in grave danger if something is not done. We are now faced with two choices. Let this thing play out, or we interfere to fix things ourselves. Regardless, we cannot proceed with any action until SCP SI 0 W90 is perfected. Test will continue until further notice. Case file remains open. Hello, this is Agent 4288. In regards to the case file of SCP SI 0 W90, I was going to say, I thought this was about to end. Recent, Agent 482 Keith Wickham has found a way to control SCP SI 0 W90. Using extensive research on multiverses and carefully examining into the many parts of the watch, he found an algorithm for us to choose its first universe, destination, and time frame. This is a Which huge universe advantage, is this? Allowing us to find things we would never have expected to find out. More recent tests of the watch which proved successful showed to have a universe which we have dubbed SDR847562, where there are at least two known multiversal travelers, which threaten the advance of their timeline. It seems like the threat of incursion has begun to take effect here and it was up to Keith to eliminate it. One of our agents even got a photograph of one of the multiversal travelers. And let's oh. just say... Sword or Dark Realm. Mission, he wouldn't like the content of said photograph. Nobody knows to this day what happened to 482, but this was the last time we did this sort of test. This is the time where we knew that we needed something more than just a shortcut or a temporary bypass. The watch appeared back on its podium, but it can only be assumed that our agent was a dead man. Case file remains open. Okay. Yep, Sodor Dark Realm. God, it's been a while since we've got Sodor Dark Realm content. Who does he try to shoot? Try and shoot Gordon's driver or Percy? Well, I am on. I just need your help. Who are you? 
Oh, is now this? Let the chaos begin. Was that Doctor Beeching? By the way, I watched a whole video about the documentary be behind him. That's it. Anything else at the end? No. All right. Guys, it's been a while since I've heard anything about Sword or Dark Realm. I think we only got three or so episodes into Sword or Dark Realm, and then it just stops for a while. And then, the, and then the whole SCP series started sometime after it, along with the coinciding with the Sword or Fallout. I 100% thought we were going to get a... Hmm. A sort of missed, missed uh, cameo during the dimensional travels because we know that before um, Toby and the Multiverse of Chaos, the mist was causing interdimensional travel between uh, realities and several different realities. And if you had watched uh, Shank's sixth video before he deleted his channel, then you would know that in Sodor Mist, there was a direct connection to Sodor Dark Realm and then Sodor Fallout on top of each other. And then there was a third entirely different dimension that was also hinted at, rather a fourth different dimension that was hinted at, that brought a different, entirely different Thomas into the Mist universe. If you guys had seen those episodes before Shanks deleted his channel, I, just, I still don't know why he deleted it. He was doing so good with all his videos. But... Either way, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's reaction video. Please like and subscribe all this stuff, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.